What is up, bread bins? Welcome to another honest flavour review from The Vaping Mods. Today it's the turn of Blue Slush from Chopper Vapes. So, new hat today, peeps. What do you think? Yay? Nay? I know it looks exactly the same or very similar to the last one that I've been wearing. What do you think? Yes or no? I know it looks, uh, it's grey just like the other one was. Grey will never go out of fashion because grey's never been in fashion. So, Chopper Vapes Blue Slush. Let's see what the website, choppervapes.com, has to say about Blue Slush. Okay, they say, a proper blue slush. Mix of blueberries and raspberries mixed with a sweet syrup for a refreshing all day vape. Wow. We'll see about that, won't we? Okay, so blueberries and raspberries, like those I'd imagine, and it says it's syrupy, a sweet syrup, so I'm expecting it's going to be very syrupy. No mention in the description there about this being cooled or iced, but it is a slush, so I am expecting it to be a little bit cold. Couple of things about Chopper Vapes that I want to mention. Um, firstly, the price. So for, let's see here, for 60 mil, that is just eight pounds. For 120 mil, that is 15 pounds. Not bad value for that juice. Now, Normally, when you, when you list prices, you look at, or it's for, 50 mil or 100 mil. So why is this 60 mil or 120 mil? Well, let me tell you why that is. Because Chopper Vapes will not charge you any extra for your nick shot. So you order 50 mil, you get a 10 mil nick shot. You order 100 mil, you get two or 20 mil of nick shots. But what if you don't vape with nicotine? There are people out there who vape with no nick. Well, that's really good as well, because if you choose to have this juice without nicotine, then Chopper Vapes will top up the bottle to either 60 mil or 120 mil of the juice that you've ordered. So you don't lose out. I think that's a really, really good bit of service. I think it's really innovative, and that's a massive thumbs up to Chopper Vapes for that. Also, I'll put a photo up in a second. They've got an innovative bottle design. The nib here, the top part of your short fill bottle, that's hinged. You lift that up and you've got a nice big hole inside then to add your nick shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, really innovative. Nice to see some people doing something a little bit different. And not only that, but it's really handy as well. No messing around with a knife or whatever else, prizing the lid off your bottle. Just flip the, the hinge part there, stick your nick in, give it a shake, you are good to go. Also, I'd like to mention that this juice was sent to me by Chopper Vapes for the purposes of this review. Uh, as ever, Chopper Vapes, Thank you very much, it's massively appreciated. Really loving your support. Um, so yeah, on with the review then. And let me just say, even though this has been sent to me by Chopper Vapes for this review, in other words, I didn't spend my money on it, I have, and I do pride myself on my integrity. This will be an honest flavor review. Okay, so as ever, what I will do is give it a smell, let you know my thoughts. I'll go for a finger drip taste, let you know my thoughts. And then finally, I'll stick it in a tank, I'll give it a vape, and I'll give you my thoughts. On with that then, let's see. And by the way, I have added nicotine to this. This is 0.3 milligram uh, nicotine juice. I always add nicotine to my juices because number one, I vape with nicotine in. And number two, the flavor can change. It can maybe be a little bit strong if you try it without nicotine in it. And while some people do vape without nicotine, most of us do. Most of us using sub ohm tanks uh, or RDAs, RTAs, we vape at three milligrams. So that's what I do because that gives it the most 
balanced view of what this juice is like. So, let's give it a sniff. Well, straight away, it smells very, very blue. <laughs> um, it smells very, very sweet. Not really detecting much blueberry in that, but blueberry is quite a subtle flavor, but definitely uh, detecting raspberries. Let's get some on the finger. Wow, that is sweet. That is sweet, and I am detecting something cooled in there as well. It is slightly iced. Despite it not saying that in the description, I can detect something cool in that. Uh, but actually, it's not overpowering. It doesn't taste medicinal at this point. Let's then get some in a tank, give it a vape, give you my thoughts. Equipment for this today, I am using for this my Geek Vape Aegis Squonk, and I actually have put a new build in it today, but I am using the Tengu RDA that comes with the uh, Aegis Squonk in the kit. That is a dual coil uh, RDA. I've recoiled it, I've re-whipped it this morning. Um, <laughs> The mod is reading it as a 0 0.7 ohm, uh, which just goes to show sometimes the inconsistency of coils. I've used pre-built coils, I don't make my own coils. They were supposed to be, or well, they were rated as 0 0.20 ohms a piece. So really, with a dual coil, that should be reading a 0 0.1, right? Uh, this is reading a 0 0.07. However, um, as it's such a low resistance build, I'm gonna hit that at 70 watts. So 10 watts more than what I usually hit at, which is 60 watts, uh, that's what I'm gonna be giving this a go at. So let's then get these coils and that build deck well and truly saturated with this juice. Mmm, moist. A, I have reviewed this tank and this this RDA, if you've not caught that, one of the nice things, quite innovative things about this tank with the build deck is at the top of the posts, it's got an angled section of metal on the top of the posts. So when you drip your juice down through the uh, the drip tip there, it's going straight onto that, that ridged part of the build deck and then separating so, uh, evenly and it floods straight down into your coils and onto your wicks. Nice touch. Uh, I'm using this today because again, this setup, this mod, this tank is something you also can get from Chopper Vapes. They're not just a juice company, if you didn't already know that, they are a retail and online store as well, and they are retailing this kit at, I believe, a very reasonable price. So that's choppervapes.com. All right then, those coils, those wicks are well and truly saturated. Imagination wrongs. Everybody, everybody, everybody's wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. Let's give it a go then, shall we? 70 watts. Let her rip, tater chip. Wrapped in, wrapped around, wrapped, wrapped around, wrapped, wrapped around. Wish, wish your mind wrapped in, wrapped around. Psyche's oh, avatar, yes. Psyche's need a job. Portraits in the fog, filter out the small Information log, so fast the past recalls. You back the future stars, fade to black the present calls. Go out some liquor, but the homies lost. But the homies, but the homies, but the homies lost. Go out some liquor, but the homies lost. Gone away, I'ma make you say in my head, hella memory, memory, memory. Oh, that is tasty. That is really, really tasty. I have to say, I am really quite impressed with this juice. It's a kind of juice, a kind of profile that I've avoided uh, pretty much all of my vaping life because first and foremost, I've never been a fan and never wanted to or never thought I would like iced or couladed or juices with coulada in to give that iced or that chilled effect. I tried one because somebody sent me one for free and it actually started to change my mind. Uh, that was uh, Moorish Puff Slushed or Get Slushed Cherry. That started to change my mind. I've tried a few since that have actually been really nice. I've also tried a few that have been ranked, to be quite honest with you, for my taste. But this one is really, really tasty. 
The coulada is definitely there. That iced flavor or feeling is definitely there, but it's not overpowering like a lot of juices can be that are iced. It's not full on iced. It's, I mean, you wouldn't say it was subtle. You don't have to think to detect it. It's definitely there, but it's not overpowering. And then you get all that sweetness of the raspberry and the blueberry. I'm not detecting too much blueberry in the taste, but again, blueberry is quite a subtle flavor. If you're having a juice, like a dessert juice, like a blueberry muffin for example even in that it's quite subtle but you can taste it because that's the only fruit flavor that's in it in this one blueberry and raspberry probably the raspberry is the most prominent flavor that's what I'm tasting it is very very sweet it is very very syrupy it is just like a blue slushy that's really tasty I'm gonna have a little bit more those voices, those voices in my head. chopper I'm really impressed that is really nice juice uh, to coin a phrase I have to say with this juice chopper is proper very very nice juice so the question is will I smash the rest of that bottle and yes I will 60 mil I've got there of blue sludge and I yes I will smash the rest of that bottle Will it be an all day or all time favorite vape? Well, for me, no. It's nice, it's tasty, but I'm still not massive on iced flavored juices. Um, I'm getting more and more into it, but it's certainly not these iced juices, these, these cooled juices, these chilled juices are not gonna be my all day, all time favorite vapes. If I was going to have one, the one that I'm always gonna want on my shelf is the one that I mentioned previously, the Get Slushed Cherry from Moorish Puff. That's the one that I would choose because I love that one. That said, if iced juices, chilled juices, coulada juices are your thing, then I reckon you're really gonna like this one. It's full on flavor. It's really, really syrupy. You can definitely taste the raspberries in it. It's a really nice vape. So just to recap then, will I smash the rest of that bottle? Yes, I will. Would I buy it again? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I mean, it is very flavorsome. Uh, I prefer the cherry flavor of the cherry slushed rather than the raspberry flavor of this one. So if I was going to buy another iced juice, it may well be get slushed cherry. That said, Getzlus Cherry from Moorish Puff is a lot more expensive than Blue Slush from Chopper Vapes. So in terms of value, that one wins. Um, let's give it a score out of 10. I would give Blue Slush from Chopper Vapes a very, very solid eight out of 10. What might make it a 10 out of 10? Well, for me, probably nothing. It's just down to my tastes, really. Um, if you are into slush juices and you're into blue slush juices, this could well be a 10 out of 10 for you. If you like your slushed or your iced juices where the iced flavor or feeling is really overpowering and it really knocks your socks off, Maybe this one isn't for you because I find it just the perfect balance actually of the iced feeling in that juice. Um, but if you like it a little bit more subdued on the ice and more about the fruity flavors, then for you, this could be a 10 out of 10. If these are your sort of flavors, I recommend that you do look it up because I'll be honest, the raspberry flavor in that is, it is mind blowing. It is full, 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 full on flavor. Syrupy and sweet, yummy. And it's good value as well, which I mentioned earlier on in the video. So, this has been another honest flavor review from The Vaping Mods. Hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I will catch you next time. It has been my pleasure. Take it easy, peace. In my head
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah.